Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. Now let's put that power to the test. It's time for... K-Chat! Hello everyone, I am Junel Labor. Ako po si Amy Su Martinez and this is K-Check, the newest and smartest game show on Philippine television. Marami ang hindi nagsasawang dagdagan ang kanilang kaalaman. Here on K-Check, titignan natin kung gaano katindi ang brain power nila in various disciplines. And in the final week of the competition, malalaman natin kung sino ang kauna-unahang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Dane is taking BA Philippine Studies at UP Diliman. One of his dreams is to join a quiz show, but he always has been too shy to try until now. Noy is currently taking Bachelor of Physical Education at UP Diliman and loves playing volleyball. Marie is really into the group BTS and uses their music to inspire and motivate her to do classwork. She is a busy fourth year college student but is always game for a coffee date. Kenia is a University of the Philippines Diliman student who is passionate about design-related tasks. These four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Marian Roque, Professor of Mathematics at the UP Diliman. Professor Neil Santillan, Chairperson of the UP Diliman Department of History and Professor Maylin Cruz, Assistant Professor from the Department of Theory, College of Fine Arts, UP Diliman. And now, contestants, papasok na tayo sa K-Check Paramihan, where each correct answer is worth 10 points. This is your chance to bank as many points as you can and take the all-important early lead. Let's begin! <music> In what province can you find Angeles City? Pampanga. K-Check. Noy, which former president is the first famous Hall of Fame awardee for Best Actor? Uh... Joseph Estrada. Marie, what number is one-fourth of 48? Four. Twelve. Twelve. Kinea, in what U.S. state can you find Hollywood? Los Angeles. California. Dane, what number is one-third of 63? Nine. Twenty-one. Noy, Bacolod City is the capital of which province? Uh, Negros Oriental. Negros Occidental. Marie? Which senator starred in the film Ang Alamat ni Leon Guerrero? Lito Lapid. Kinea, 32 is twice what number? 16. Hey, check. Dane, what hard object is the nickname of Senator Ronald De La Rosa? Bato. Hey, check. Noy. What is 22 divided by one half? Uh, 11. Ay. 44. Marie, in what country can you find the Great Pyramid of Giza? Egypt. Kaycheck. Kinea, which senator starred in the film Anak ni Baby Ama? Robin Padilla. And that's it for the first round of our Kaycheck Paramian round. That's it for our first round, the K-Check Paramihan Round. Ngayon, may tanong daw ang ating si Prof. Neil sa isa sa mga contestants, no? Ang tanong ko ay para kay Marie. Okay, Marie, ikaw daw ay membro ng BTS Army. Okay, so hanggang ngayon ay nagtatanong ako sa sarili ko ba't gustong gusto ng kabataan ang BTS. So ano kaya, ano kaya ang sagot mo sa tanong na ito? Ano ang saysay ng BTS sa kabataan o sa kasulukuyang kabataan? Thank you for that wonderful question, Professor Neil. I believe po, BTS is more than just a group of seven members from South Korea. 
Uh, I believe that their music transcends language and it's important for Asian representative, especially in the music industry today. And I also believe in their philosophy to love oneself. And in order to excel in life, you have to love yourself first. So I thank you, Prof. Grabe naman yung knowledge na ni Marie, no? Yung talaga ang lalim-lalim ng kanyang... Ano yung tawag? Pagiging fan, no? Parang gusto ko nang lumipad papuntang South Korea. May, may gusto din akong song ng BTS, yung sige Butter nga. ba yun? Oh, sige nga. Hindi ko alam kantahin kanta mo Ay, hindi ko kaya. Ay, hindi, di tayo matatapos. Hindi mo kakantahin yan. Hindi ko alam. <laughs> At ngayon, ready na ba kayong lahat for our Pabilisan Round? Next here on... K-Check! Now let's take a look at the scores of our contestants. Taking the lead is Dane with 20 points, followed by a tie between Marie and Quinea at 10 points. No, ay mukhang kailangan mong humabol. May bago pala tayong expert. Correct. Why don't we ask uh -oh. her about round one? Professor May, what do you think of round one? I think na na gua warm up palang sila pero natandaan ko si Dane sabi niya shy siya pero siya yung nangunguna so good luck Dane at good luck din sa lahat correct no talagang yung shyness ni Dane na overcome niya sa round 1 na yan pero may tanong ako dito kay Noy kasi wala masyadong sinabi to si Noy sa kanyang background no Noy ready ka na ba sa tanong namin sa iyo ready na po okay bakit ka nandito anong nagloko joke sa iyo na sumali sa contest na ito uh, uh, from CHK po, syempre gusto ko rin po may mapatunayan kasi uh, uh, palagi nilang sinasabi na pag CHK parang uh, uh, hindi mautak, parang puro lang ano, physically fit lagi. Mm -hmm. So yun. Hindi totoo yun. Marami akong friends <laughs> sa CHK na sumakumlaw. Di ba? Oo. Yung balance ng energy sa physical sa mental. Oo, no? dapat makamit. Uh -oh. So andito pala si Noy to break the glass ceiling. Correct. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Breaks glass <laughs> We're now going into K-Check Pabilisan. Buzz in first for the right to answer the question. Correct answers are worth 20 points. Pero sa round na ito, minus 10 points ang maling sagot. Kaya contestants, think before you press that buzzer. Let's begin! <laughs> Who played the beautiful Mighty Thor in the 2022 film Thor Love and Thunder? Marie. Chris Hemsworth. Hi, Marie. Chris. Natalie Portman. Kenea. Kaycheck. Next question. The island of Hispaniola is divided between the Republic of Haiti and what other country? The correct answer is Dominican Republic. Which team defeated TNT in a thrilling seven-game final to win the 2022 PBA Philippine Cup? Correct answer is the beer man or San Miguel. Here I thought alam to it, ito ni Noy. Next question. What is the title of the series of seven fantasy novels by British author C.S. Lewis that features Aslan the Lion? Marie. Narnia. Okay, check. Who defeated Muhammad Ali in what was billed as the fight of the century in 1971? Correct answer is Joe Frazier. In the news, the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee recommended that charges against officials of the SRA be billed for their alleged involvement in the sugar importation, importation fiasco. What do the letters SRA stand for? The 
this was just in the news and the answer is Sugar Regulatory Administration. Next question, what is the common name for the plant Lausonia inermis, which is a source of dye for both silk and leather, as well as temporary tattoos on human skin? Ang sagot ay henna. In the UAAP, what university's team is nicknamed the Bulldogs? Dane. National University. Okay, check. The camel-like llama and alpaca are native to what continent? Yes, Kunea. Continent Antarctica. Mali. Dane. Australia. Yes, Noi. Asia. Marie? South America. Okay, check. Next question. In the news, what department was implicated with the alleged anomalous purchase of 2.4 billion pesos worth of laptops in 2021? Ang tamang sagot ay DepEd or Department of Education. Second to the last question na ito. Who served as the Prime Minister of Cuba from 1959 to 1976 and President from 1976 to 2008? The correct answer is Fidel Castro. And our very last question for this round. Which Filipino singer recorded the 2010 single, Pyramid? Noi? Uh, Cherry Spampeng. Okay, check! And that's it for our Pabilisan Round. And that's the end of our K-Check Pabilisan Round. Punta muna tayo sa ating recap. No? Nangunguna si Marie with 40 points, susunod si Dane with 30 points, si Kinea ng 20 points, at si Noi with 10 points. So gagalingan nila ulit sa next round, di ba? Tama. Yes. Mm -hmm. Laban lang. Correct, oo. Uh -oh. So may tanong ata, isa sa ating mga hurado, no? ang magandang si Prof. Marian. May question ka daw, Prof. Marian. Yes, but may I say muna na parang interesting tong mga ating contestants ngayon, di ba? Bibo sila, sumasagot lahat, right? At inspired si Marie talaga ng BTS. Pero ang gusto kong tanongin si Dane, kasi mukha siyang tay shy type. Shy ka ba? Yes po. Uh, simula bata po, kasi ako po yung bunso sa amin. Kaya ako po yung naiiwan sa bahay kasi yung mga kapatid ko po, malalaki na. Kaya ako lang po mag-isa. Pero habang tumatagal, habang patanda ng patanda, pinipilit ko pong i-overcome yung shyness ko. At ayun po yung dahilan kung bakit nandito rin ako ngayon at uh, pinapakita yung sarili ko no, sa mundo. Oo, oh, huwag ka mag ka kasi bunso din ako eh. So naging ganito ako, di ba? So magiging ganito ka rin pagtanda mo. Na hindi na, hindi hindi shy. Pero bakit gusto mo ng quiz shows? Kasi marami kang alam sa trivia or with your course Philippine Studies. Uh, bali nung, ayun nga po, nakuwento ko nga po nung bata ako, lagi ako naiiwan sa bahay. Kasama ko po yung papa ko. At ayun po yung naging bonding experience namin lagi. Tapos yung papa ko po ngayon kasi uh, nagtatrabaho na for the longest time sa abroad. And every time I watch uh, quiz shows, naalala ko po siya, naalala ko po yung uh, bonding experience naming dalawa. Aww, mm -hmm. oh, nakakaiyak po lo ang Rizzo. Oh, Akala ko nga, iiyak si Dane eh. Pero <laughs> mahigina siya ng kanyang daddy, no? Na mag-join mag yes, pa. Yes, bumati ka sa ito. daddy mo. Okay. Sabihin mo, hi papa. Hi papa, hi, hi papa sa Dubai. <laughs> Gusto kayo hi papa sa Dubai, no? Okay. So thank you so much, Dane, okay? May question ka ba oh, sa isa sa kanila? I feel like Alice in Wonderland, curiouser and curiouser. Kunea, napaka ano interesting ng pangalan mo. Saan mo nakuha yan? Or ng parents mo pala? <laughs> uh, ako po kasi yung panganay, so firstborn. And yung mom ko po, Hi, mama! <laughs> Gusto niya po ng queen sa name ko. So, Quinn, and then my mom's name is Leia. Hi, Mama Olet. Plus, my father's name is Noel. Hi, Papa. <laughs> so, Leia plus Noel, Nea, Queen 
Nea. Queen Nea. <laughs> Napaliwanag yun ng maayos yun. <laughs> Complicated oh. din pala nung explanation, katulad nung pangalan. Correct. Ikaw. Hello din sa mga mama at papa. <laughs> Nagbatean talaga tayo dito. Anyway, this time, our contestants will face their toughest challenge yet dahil ang ating ultimate pagalingan round susunod na here on... K-Check! Now take a look at the performance of our contestants. In the lead is Marie at 40 points. She's followed by Dane at 30 points. Nasa third naman po si Kunea. At nasa dulo po with 10 points ay si Noy. Gusto ko talaga yung magkasunod lang yung kalang ano, no? Scores 10, 20, 30, and 40. No? Talagang sumasagot sila Correct. sa first two rounds. Competitive yung mga tao. Marami silang baon, di ba? So ngayon, pupunta tayo sa ating K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan where correct answers are worth 30 points, wrong answers get a 15-point deduction. At para mas madagdagan ang kaalaman ng ating mga contestants at viewers, sa round na ito, sa mga professors ng ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga tanong. At the end of this round, malalaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check Daily Winners. Contestants, let's, let's begin! begin! Let's begin this round. Prof. Marian, your first question, please. Biology. What process do bats use to locate their prey? Marie. Seismic waves. Malé. Okay, medyo matama may waves, pero bats locate objects even in the dark using sound. So they produce sound, high frequency, and then papakinggan nila yung echo. So it is called echolocation. Echolocation. Baka madali-dali yun, no? Prof. Prof. Neil, your next question. Mahirap yung tanong ni Ma Marian. Baka ito kayang-kayang kunin, oh, kayang-kayang ma masagutan ng ating contestants. Who named the Philippine Islands. Marie. King Philip of Spain. King Philip of Spain. Okay. Um, bahagi ng kwento, pero ang tinatanong natin kung sino ang nagbigay ng pangalan na Las Islas Filipinas sa ilang mga isla sa bansa. Sa kalaunan, yung Las Islas Filipinas ginamit na nung dumating si Miguel Lopez de Legazpi bilang unang gobernador general bilang pantukoy sa lahat ng mga isla ng bahagi na alam natin na bansa na Pilipinas. Ang tamang sagot ay Roy Lopez de Villalobos. So, pahabo lang, kanino ipinangalan nito, pinangalan nito sa dating prinsipe ng Asturias na si Philip then sa kalaunan magiging Haring Felipe II ng Espanya. Okay, ang salimuot no ng proseso ng paghahanap ng pangalan niya. Prof Maylin, may tanong? Okay. One of the iconic works of this artist is the Madonna of the Slums featuring a Filipina mother and her child against an urban slum area. Who is this artist? Okay, ang tamang sagot ay si Vicente Manansala, isa siya sa mga national artist natin. Nakita ko tumutungo yung mga mga contestant natin, no? So mukhang alam alam pero nag-atubili, no? Correct. So sa dulo ng kanila mga dila siguro. Uh, okay. So si Vicente Manansala, yung Madonna of the Slums ay ipininta niya as a bilang pagsalamin, no, sa post-war realities natin um, pagkatapos ng giyera. Thank you so much, Prof. May. Prof. Maria, next question. Okay, ito rin. Sana mahugot nyo sa dulo ng dila nyo. Kasi ang ganda ng chemistry nyo din. 
So chemistry ang akin tanong uli. What is the process by which solid matter transitions to gas without going through the liquid state? Hindi na hugot. <laughs> Example nito ay dry ice. From solid, nagiging siyang vapor, right? The process is called sublimation. Sublimation. Pala yung tawag doon, no? Prof. Neil. Nagbibilang ako kung makakatama ako sa mga tanong ni Ma Marian. Mahira po. Kasi matagal na akong kumuha ng integrated science, biology, physics way back Uh, two decades ago or three decades ago. Okay. Ito baka kaya. Um, in sports, what does the acronym PATAFA stand for? Okay. Pusible isa to sa pinaka-kontrobersyal na national sports organization natin. Okay, dahil sa issue kay EJ Obiena. Of course, isang premyadong uh, Paul Volter ng Pilipinas. Ang tamang sagot ay Philippine Athletics Track and Field Association. Correct. No? Controversial nga. Pero naka-move forward naman na, di ba? Tama. Pero maraming, maraming kontrobersya talaga ang patafa bago pa tong issue kay EJ Obiena nung huling dalawang taon. Hindi talaga niya tinatantanan yung mga issue na yun, no? Prof. May, your next question, please. Uh, the Metropolitan Theater by Juan Aureliano is an excellent example of what architectural style? The correct answer is Art Deco. Um, nakita ulit na may mga tumata- tumutungon. <laughs> so, kailangan hugutin ang sagot mula sa dulo ng inyong mga dila. Um, at ang Metropolitan Theater ay ginagamit, no? Ni-resurrect ito at ginagamit ulit ito para sa mga performances um, lately. Correct. Oh, mapuntahan nga yan, no? One of these days. Thank you, Prof. May. Prof. Maria, your next question? Ito siguro kaya niya ito. Okay. Kakabilang ko lang kanina, eh. How many teeth does an adult human have? Kinea. 32. Okay. Hindi na ako mag-explain. Yun ang sabi. Mali ang kulang sa akin eh. Pero 32. Okay. Check. Binilang ko din yung akin kanina eh. Binilang, binilang kaya. 32 kaya? 32. Oo. Nakita ko. <laughs> Prof. Neil, binilang De, ko ba? Tama si Marian. Oh, tama ang sagot ko para doon. Okay, dahil pa ulit-ulit na binabanggit ng dentista, di ba? <laughs> Pag nagpapa-check up ka. Okay, so yung susunod na tanong ay what Philippine province touches the West Philippine Sea and the Sulu Sea? Tingin ko nag-aalangan lang yung mga contestants. Okay, so Sikat to dahil major tourist destination to ng Pilipinas. Isa to sa pinakamalaking probinsya rin sa Pilipinas in terms of land area. Diba? Then, dito rin matatagpuan yung mga Tabon Caves. Okay, nasa munisipyo ng Quezon. Okay, nasa uh, Timog da Bahagi ng probinsya. Ang tamang sagot ay Palawan. Correct, no? Ang gandang probinsya no? ng Palawan. Prof. Maylin? What national cultural treasure was found in Batangas inscribed with prehistoric script? Ang tamang sagot ay ang Kalatagan Pot. Um, it was um, dated to be around the 15th century pero na-acquire siya 1961. Prof. Mary, ano na ka nakalagay doon sa pot na yun? 
um, hindi pa rin nagkakasundo-sundo no, dun sa interpretation ng Kalatagan Pot. So, open siya para sa mga estudyante na saliksikin din at mag-contribute um, no, dun sa knowledge at sa pag-interpret nitong Kalatagan Pot. Mapuntahan nga rin yung lugar na yan. Ang dami natin pupuntahan, Prof. Marian. Ang dami, di ba? Palawan, tapos yung Kalatagan Pot na yan. Ito, wala, wala kang kailangan puntahan. Biology. Okay. The Pina is part of what sensory organ? Eyes. Mala. Konti lang naman ang ating sensory organs, but the pina is the medical term for the outer ear. Tenga. Okay. Nice to know. Prof. Neil? Okay. Um, huling tanong para sa akin sa larangan ng kasaysayan. Um, ito ay ML at 50 na question. Okay. What is the biggest business-led non-government organization in the Philippines that was established in 1970? Fiftieth year na ngayon, dun sa paglagda uh, ni Ferdinand Marcos ng Proclamation Number no. 1081 na nilagay ang Pilipinas sa ilalim ng batas militar. Noong 1970, ang daming rally ng mga ng kabataan. At sa rally nila, isa sa sigaw nila bukod sa hindi makatarungan yung gobyerno ay yung corporate greed. Na yung mga korporasyon kapitalista, wala tayong pakinabang dyan. Yumayaman lang sila. So, nabuo yung idea ng corporate social responsibility. Nagsama-sama ang mga korporasyon at nag-commit na 1% na kanilang kita taon-taon ipapasok nila sa corporate social responsibility fund. So, nabuo ang organisasyon na to sa ganong konteksto at perspektiba. Ang tamang sagot ay Philippine Business for Social Progress or PBSP. Prof. Neil, Prof. May, last question. Last question. What is the traditional headgear of the Ivatan that protects them from both the heat and the rain? The correct answer is bakul. I'm sure na imagine nyo siya, no? Yung parang parang wig na mahaba extended wig no it's um it's an excellent example of indigenous artistry okay meron pa tayong pupuntahan batanes correct oo oh, oh. sama-sama tayong pupunta diyan and that's it for k check ultimate pagalingan and that's it for k check ultimate pagalingan Congratulations to Kinea, our K-Check Daily winner, with a final score of 50 points. We'll see Kinea again on Friday when she competes with our other daily winners for a spot in our semifinals. Thanks to Dane, Noy, and Marie for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Marian, Professor Neil, and Professor Ming. This is Aimee Sue Martinez. And I am Junella Bohr. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -Check.